Hello and welcome to our webinar, Atmospheric Gas Analysis by Quadrupole Mass Spectrometers, Challenges and Solutions. In our session, we are discussing several aspects regarding the use of mass spectrometers to analyze atmospheric gas probes. We will discuss a few uh, fundamentals on QMS systems and criteria for the instrument selection. We will give you also some guidance in case that the quantitation of a gas mix is required. And we will also cover some aspects of the system integration and its value for the application. For those of you which are not familiar with the operation principle of a quadruple mass spectrometer, here is a quick refresh. The gas mix is behind sampling system introduced into the ion source. A filament driven by a current will emit electrons. These electrons will hit the gas molecules and will cause a charge, or better formulated, an ionization. These formed ions can now be filtered inside of the quadruple mass filter by changing the properties of the three-dimensional electromagnetic field. Since we can change the properties of the filter very fast, we can measure various gas spaces with a good time resolution. The ions which will pass the filter will be measured at the detect detector. The output will be converted to a pressure or relative concentration. By scanning over a mass range, we get such a mass spectrum, where we show the molecular mass on the x-axis and the partial pressure or the concentration on the y-axis. Quadruple mass spectrometers typically working at pressures below 1 times 10 to minus 4 millivolts. However, a corresponding inlet can expand the operation range to atmosphere. The MKS mass spec solution group is offering a wide range of quadruple mass spectrometer systems. It's starting from high and ultra high vacuum systems over process monitoring systems for various processes and applications, and we are offering also atmospheric mass spec systems to analyze atmospheric gas probes, which is the topic for our talk today. We also offer customized system for specific applications and industries. Along with our strong application expertise and engineering capabilities, we can guarantee an added value to our customers. Concerning the atmospheric gas analysis, there is a wide range of applications. Bulk and special gas manufacturing is requiring an online trace analysis in order to ensure a consistent product quality. In material science, the quadruple mass spectrometer demonstrated its value, its value to characterize the properties of various catalysts or other materials using methods like TGA, TBD, or chemisorption. Bioprocesses like fermentation need to monitor critical gases to control the culture crew and to monitor undesired reactions. Green technologies in an evolving market require solutions to optimize technologies like power to gas or gas to power including the environmental friendly production of hydrogen. There is also a range of industrial processes that are requiring the monitoring of critical gases such ALD or thermal processing. And finally, the use of mass spectrometers has been established for the characterization of the efficiency of fill cells. Let me move on now with some fundamental and aspects in selecting quadrupole mass spectrometers. So why do you want to use a quadrupole mass spectrometer? You may have a critical process or reaction where the gas mix needs to be monitored. Undesired reactions or conditions needs to be identified. You may have also a gas mix which is changing very fast and you need to follow these fast changes. You may have to need the need for analyzed gas probes online continuously. 
you need to analyze a wide range of dynamic concentrations from PPB level up to the percent level. And your process is so complex that it needs to be correlated with other temp parameters like the temperatures. And finally, you may also need to quantify your gas concentration in order to determine the process efficiency and your product quality. So let me spend some time on the topic of iron sources. The iron source is a crucial part of a quadrupole mass spectrometer. It essentially defines the sensitivity and the quality of the data. We basically differentiate between open and closed iron source systems. Open iron sources, typically used for high vacuum and ultra high vacuum applications, where we measure the residual gas directly without a sampling system or a pressure reduction system. Open iron sources are limited in applications where the mass spec needs to have an inlet pressure reduction system. Closed iron source concepts are the state of the art for systems with higher sampling pressures. Using a high vacuum pumping system, the mass spec will be maintained in its operational range of 1 times 10 to minus 7 millibar. The pressure in the source will be slightly higher, which provides a higher sensitivity. Unfortunately, some gases tend to create metal stables, which are molecules with some charge, but not fully ionized. Even if the lifetime of these metal stables is very short, it will pass the mass filter and causing some noise in the detector. That noise is reducing the limit of detection. MKS has developed a V-Lens ion optic technique, which will retain and discharge the meta stables in the ion source. That is significantly improving the detection limit of the QMS. Depending on the gas mix, we can achieve a detection limit down to 15 ppm. A further important topic is the design of the inlet system. We essentially have to make sure that the composition of the gas doesn't change when it reaches the MS. Any desorption or condensation effects needs to be avoided. That require a sufficient heating of the whole sampling system pass, including the mass spec enclosure. Any cold spots should be avoided. Furthermore, the capillary, which acts as a part of the pressure reduction system, needs to be compatible with the sampled gases. We have a selection of different capillary materials like glass, stainless steel, nickel available. Once an accurate and highly reliable analysis is concerned, you need to pay special attention to the pressure conditions on your gas sampling point. Since the method of ionization doesn't behave very linear, we must make sure that the pressure in the ion source is stable, even if the pressure at the inlet point is changing. So here in our scheme, we have the capillary lines sampling your process gas. In order to have a fast response, we have implemented a bypass pumping pass, which is improving the sampling speed and helps to reduce the pressure in the mass spectrometer. We can consider that flow split as a constant ratio. So if the inlet pressure is changing, it also changed the pressure at this point and subsequently also changed the pressure in the ion source. In order to compensate any pressure variations, we have implemented a pressure regulator in the bypass pass that is stabilizing the pressure in the bypass pass as well as in the ion source, even if the inlet pressure is changing. Besides the superior repeatability, that solution is also expanding the operation range of an atmospheric mass spectrometer. It can operate in a range of 200 to 1,500 millibar. Let's now talk about the data and how we can work with them, especially with respect to the quantitation. A few important reminders first. 
You always have to keep in mind that mass spectrometer with electron impact ionization detecting only molecules which are ionized in the gas phase. The data interpretation itself can be complex due to fragmentation of molecules, gas specific sensitivities, signal interferences, and cross reactions of gases in the ion source. If you want to perform a quantitation of a gas mix, there are few variants needs to be considered. There are gas specific sensitivities, so each gas creates a different number of ions at the same ionization energy. There are background effects, especially on systems with a pumping system and a large internal surface. These background contributions are typically very small, so we need to consider that only for trace analysis. And finally, there are some signal interferences where gases having some the same molecular mass. The most common, ex common example here is nitrogen and carbon monoxide, which are showing both signals and at 28 AMU. So let's have a look into the details and how we can manage these variants. How do you calculate a concentration? For each gas, you need to divide the partial pressure reading by the total pressure or by the total pressure of the dominant gas. You need to deal with the gas specific sensitivity. So each mass spectrometer has its own sensitivity for certain gases. So you need to work out that factor for your system and the gas that you want to analyze. Don't use the factors in the libraries. They are not wrong but not accurate enough. And finally, on trace gas applications, you need to subtract your background gas contribution for each gas that you want to quantify. And finally, you have to work with the interfering signals. You need to find first the ratio of interfering signals on fragmented and non-fragmented molecules. Then you need to subtract the calculated contribution of the interfering signal from the measured signal from the interfering gas. That all sounds very complicated, but the good news is that we have software dealing with all these aspects. So that software should take into account the gas-specific sensitivity factors due to different ionization efficiencies, the so normalization factors on system backgrounds or the calibration ratios in case that we have signal interferences. The so MKS gas composition analysis module provides a generic and user-friendly method for the quantitation. It calculates automatically the correction factors by using calibration gases and it's converting the raw partial pressure readings into calibrated concentrations in per ppm, ppb, or even percent units. The so MKS gas composition analysis module has an intuitive and logical workflow. Once you start with a new method, you will define the compounds that you want to analyze. In order to set the mass numbers correctly, you can import data from the NIST libraries in the GCAMP format. Once you have all compounds set, you will define the measurement following by the definition of your calibration reference. By applying the calibration gas, you will execute the specific gas calibration. The software is doing all the peak interference evaluations and will make suggestions for necessary corrections. On the analysis itself, you will get all the calibrated compounds in the desired unit, percent, ppm, or PBB. You also have the option to define a zero guess to subtract the mass spectrometer background.
And now I want to discuss some aspects about system integration. We often have the situation that a standalone installation is limited on his value. Therefore, a hardened software integration is required, and you have to do so if you want to control the quadruple mass spectrometer and monitor the sensor performance, like calibration, by an external software or an SPS system. You also may need to correlate the quadruple mass spectrometer data with other relevant process data. Or you may need to transfer the QMS data to an external analytical application or a process data collection system. With PIM, the MKS Process I platform, we are offering a wide range of integration options, such as software development kits or the support of different communication protocols like OPC, Modbus, JSON, or simple XML formats. Here is an example where an OEM integrated a mass spectrometer system into his equipment control system. All of the functionality and analysis, including the system visualization, is done by using our ActiveX library, which helps to manage the complexity of the instrument. The Industry 4.0 transition, where more online process and product control is required, is also part of our roadmap. Sensors and good data becoming crucial in that content, and we pay special attention to system stability and data quality. In order to simplify the integration, we are developing our protocols to be potentially self-describing and easy to use. Data from sensors also needs to be accessible for different users and different applications. Moving forward, solutions for remote analytics and implementing subject matter expertise may enhance successful sensor implementations. So I want to conclude my talk here. Quadruple mass spectrometer have a history of proven efficiency in analyzing gas phase processing and manufacturing. They are universal, fast, and sensitive. Quadruple mass spectrometer shown also is sufficient robustness in the monitoring of critical gas compositions. By selecting of an adequate configuration, quadruple mass spectrometers demonstrated their value of monitoring atmospheric crest probes. Gas sampling inlet design is a crucial factor for successful application. Integrated solutions maximize the benefit of using quadruple mass spectrometers. For further information, please refer to our webpage or contact me by email directly.